Today I'm going to show you guys how to install VF Designs integrated tail light on an R1. So what you'll need to get started is a Allen wrench, which you can be found in the back compartment of your seat, screwdriver, and the alcohol prep pad that comes with the kit. And of course your lights. I'm going to walk you through on how to make your turning signals look badass. You first want to take off your seat and get your big Allen out of here. Then lift up the crack of the seat and you'll see a bolt right there. That bolt you want to unscrew with your Allen wrench. Same goes for the other side. Next step is to remove your seat. Then grab your screwdriver and do these plastic rivets right there. You want to do all four of them. And the very last one. You want to pop that off like that. All right, now you have access to all your wires. Now, as you can see, tucked up right here is a white and a black female port. Next step is you want to take your, your alcohol prep pad. And you want to get, you see all that dirt? You want to get all that all the way up. Repeat with both sides and wait for it to dry. All right guys, so if you look here, my adhesive is facing upwards. You'll notice that my adhesive is a bit different because I had to take off the other one and put on my own because I want to make a video for you guys so you learn how to do it and to do it properly because actually there's some steps to this, you know, to actually do it properly. So if you, you may notice mine stuff is a lot thicker, but back to the point, you want this to be facing upwards and you see this where it kinks? You want that to slide in right there while your wires go down in like that. If you look here from the top, you have your wire. You want your wire to be pushed in as much as you can so you have all that length. So if you take a quick note, you'll notice that my LEDs are right here. They're gonna be sticking outwards. Make sure that they're not facing inwards. Next step is to peel the backs of these. Both mine and yours are going to be the same. There's going to be a protectant back on it. I'm just going to peel that up. You want to follow that trim. And take your bottom, morph it. You want to be super careful with this part. All right, notice how I can see the lights when I look around my panel. That's how it should be, just like that. I've connected one of them, one of them just to show you guys what it looks like from the back and from the side. And then after that, you want to do the same to the other side. And it should look just like that. All right, congrats. That was the hard part. This is the easy part. All right, next part is removing these two bolts that hold your Allen wrenches in. Now that you've done the bolts, you're gonna pull this straight out. Be gentle. There's a little rubber grommet at which this slides into. Then you're going to take both these wires and you're going to slide them underneath this bar right here. And now that you've got that, you can slide this back into place. You're just going to slide underneath that wire, like that, back in its grommet, just like that. And also screw this top bracket back in. Don't forget to do that. All right, now that we have everything back together, we're going to take a look. So see how it comes up? It slides down underneath. Next, you want to turn on your right turn signal. And if you look here on one of your plugs, it has a white dot on it. It's gonna plug into your white end connector, like that. And if you look back here, next you'll do your black connector. It'll plug into the black end, just like that. And then the next is your running lights. You'll plug that in also. This one is for your license plate overhead light. 
I don't have one, so I'm not gonna plug that one in. All right, now we have both running lights on. All right, next step is to throw back on your plastic piece. It fits right there. You're gonna slide this piece under there and you're gonna do the same with the other side. And it should snap in like that. And don't forget the full to screw these back in. Screw your seat back on. Very clean finish. And then we'll test them out real quick. So turn on the key. Should be a dynamic display, it should pop up. And then we'll do our turn signals.